Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Akshat and today I want to talk about the recent cloud practitioner course that I have qualified. So I have actually prepared for this examination for around one week. Yeah, so that is pretty quick and I want to share how I actually did it. I won't be going through all the certification types and how to register for the exam and those stuff. I will just be going through how I have actually prepared for it. So talking about my background details, I have currently six months of work experience in an IT company working as a software engineer. And I have not done pretty much hands on about the AWS. I have worked on EC2 instances, Lambda, S3 buckets and and all those basic stuff like real basic stuff like creating an EC2 instances, um, creating a Lambda function, executing it and all just that. So I have registered for this exam like on 30th of November I think and started preparing for it from around 5th of December. So certificate was provided to me approximately two days after I qualified the exam. Um, yeah, so if you talk about my score, so I have got a score of 846 out of 1000. So basically the required score to pass the exam is 700 and I scored 846. So it's almost 84.6%. So talking about how I actually prepared for this course is basically just through two Udemy courses only. Basically one Udemy, one Udemy course and one practice exam. So this is the course created by Stephen Marek as named as Ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner of 2022. So all you need to do is just go through this course once and I went through it once, maybe it could take you a twice or 1.5 times to go through this course, like watching a whole course once at a time and maybe the next time just brushing up. So it consists of introduction, course and slides. This is the important part, the course and slides download. So what would happen when you, when you will open, when you will add the lecture, when you will buy this course? then you would get a slides to download. So that is the PDF slide. Basically, it consists of all the slides that has been presented in this course. So after you have completed this course, just go through it once as a revision purpose. That's what I did. And maybe I think that it would help you guys also. Now in cloud practitioner exam, there are some of the lectures that consist of majority of marks like suppose IAM, this section, questions from this section comes a lot. There are various other sections that have majority of work, but IAM and the next one is account management, billing and support, AWS architecting and ecosystem. These three are some of the major thing. And of course the VPC one also. Not too much from VPC, but yeah, the other three that I have told you, too much of questions come from them and you must read through them like we watch the lectures and practice it thoroughly talking about my hands-on so i as i told you earlier that i did the hands-on on iam ec2 and s3 buckets lambda function so like I spent not much time on it but yeah you could say that i did around three to four hours of hands-on on those part now after you have completed the course like watched the whole course understood everything and everything is fresh up in your mind then just go through stephen marek another course that is of practice exam uh, it consists of uh, six basically six practice tests as you can see here in the course includes structure i actually completed four of its practice tests only and left two of them because it was too much of time consuming and I almost gave four practice tests and each practice test I took around 100 minutes I think so yeah 400 minutes on this practice test I gave 
the best part of this practice test is there would be like mcqs okay and you need to find the correct answer of course it's an mcq and after you have chose the answer if it is wrong then it would provide all the explanation that why the selected option is wrong and if it is correct then it would provide that why the other options were wrong and why this one is correct so you have to make sure like i literally say make sure that you read each and every explanation of it because that is like the real funda of it i think that's what worked for me so i think it might work for you also so yes please go through this practice test i literally recommend it to everyone to go through this practice test because most of the question i have recently given this exam on december 11th i think so i know that this from questions from this practice test came a lot not it won't come like exact same the data same but the overall perception of the exam like overall theoretical part practical part would be centralized to this practice test only like for me it worked and i'm pretty sure that it would work for you also and you can see also according to the ratings it's 4.7 stars so yeah it's pretty good uh there's not much to cover in this video lecture but yeah so i just wanted to revisit this notepad again just to tell you that what i practiced upon basically like i spent up on around 4 to 5 hours on which portion of the aws earlier before giving the exam before it starting before started studying for it before enrolling for it so i studied for like i am users i am roles ec2 instances s3 buckets these are things that i have did the hands on that is it that's it apart from that i literally never worked on the aws uh, and did nothing on it so i think that it is pretty easy course like it is pretty easy certification and everyone would be able to do it easily just a uh, like video content is of 14 hours the practice test consists of 400 minutes that is approximately 6 and a half hours so yeah that's it it basically sums up to approximately 25 hours of study so yeah thank you guys if you have any comments or any queries please write it down in the comment section given below thank you